Well, good day. We have a little special project of ours to do today. Um, if you're wondering what this is, it's a cremation float. So you can put uh, your loved one's remains in a bag and you put it in there and you run a bead of, of glue on it and you put some clips on it to seal it. And then you can take this out in a body of water, whether it's a lake or pond or the ocean or wherever, and you can float this out and then it will dissolve over time. And your loved one's ashes or remains, um, this is um, my wife's father. This is the remains of uh, Ed Durham. He passed away a couple months ago and his wish was to be uh, cremated and his remains to be put out into the Pacific Ocean. He lived down at the beach for many, many, many years. So um, we thought that would be a nice thing is to put him in this float and have Sarah walk out in the ocean and just sort of let him float away, hopefully. Um, obviously we'll watch the tides, make sure he doesn't come floating back in, but uh, we'll, we'll do a video of, of how that little ceremony works. But for now, um, Sarah had found this online. It's uh, from a company called Earth Memorials. It says place the ashes in the biodegradable plastic bag, which we did. Um, it says use all the glue and clips. It provides you these little plastic clips. Um, then wipe off the excess glue with a dry cloth. Allow the glue to dry and then remove the clips uh, before you uh, set it out in the water. Place it in the water with two hands gently and allow only the bowl to touch the water. And the float times will vary depending on the water conditions and, and the amount of ash. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, it's real lightweight, almost a paper mache material. And we'll go ahead and set the remains of Ed in here. And we'll get the glue and just start running a bead of glue around it. Said to use all the glue, so I will try to use all of it. That's about it. Clips are, I'm not real sure. They didn't show any pictures on how to do the clip. Uh, the clips were all sent this way, but they're designed to go together and actually pinch. But you really don't get much bite doing it this way. So we're just gonna leave it the way they were shipped, spread it and maybe push it on at an angle where it, it grabs it fairly decent. We'll just go around the float. And it says to use them all, so they sent a lot of them. Not sure what the string was for. Almost seems like you should trim this top a little bit. Yeah, this is a different kind of video. I don't think there's a lot of them out there. But it's a nice, I think it's a nice way to Send the ashes off. A couple months ago, we actually had an 
ash scattering of my mom and dad on a previous video up in Clarno in Central Oregon. And, um, and we just scattered them over an area that my, my dad had hunted over in Central Oregon. I do recommend when you start transferring the ashes, um, it's real caustic, it's real abrasive, so you don't want to breathe it. So it's probably a good idea to wear a mask. And I think everybody nowadays owns a mask. So um, once I get this done, I think I'm just going to flip it over and wipe all the excess glue off from the underside. I think that's enough clips. really have a lot of excess glue. And I didn't really see the website that she bought this off of, but she said they had different designs, different patterns. Um, so the name of the company was Earth Memorials. I don't know if there are other companies that make this product or not, but that was the company that she found. And I think she found it on Amazon. So, if you want, we'll leave a link down below so you can check it out and see what you think. But um, we'll do a little video of this when we get down to the beach, and uh, that'll be in a few days. So, we will see you when we're all set up on the beach.
Can you see it, Sarah? barely below the surface right over there. Everything. That's really nice. 